welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collaboration video with the lovely Sarah from Makeup by Saz. We decided to do affordable makeup looks with Christmas kind of theme in mind, whereas Sarah's is quite lovely and deep and sultry. She has quite a strong dark lip going, a lot going on. I decided to maybe try something a little bit more on the nude neutral side. I think um, for me, when I usually do Christmas inspired looks, I'm tempted to just always go for the cranberry, the purples, the glitters and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would pair it back a little bit for anyone who wants something a little bit more nude um, or neutral. So this is what I came up with. So if you want to see how this is done, just keep Okay, so two things. First of all, it's flipping freezing here today, hence my big jumper. It's gone so cold here in Ireland at the moment. So apologies if like the hairs on my face stick up and I look like a big fuzzy animal. Um, and second of all, I am in the process of giving up Pepsi Max for maybe my fourth time ever. I don't know if I've mentioned this, I probably have actually, but I'm like totally addicted to Pepsi Max. Like I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs, I don't drink coffee. It's actually my only like really bad habit. And like, it's not in itself a bad habit, but the amount I drink makes it a bad habit because I could have like easily up to two liters a day. Not every day, but I could peak at two liters. And um, anyhow, I've gone cold turkey a few times in the past because it's the only way I can go off it. If I try and wean myself off, it doesn't work. So that's what I'm doing again and holy moly am I feeling it. And this is gonna seem so like overly dramatic to people who, well to anyone actually I'd say, who hasn't been in my shoes when it comes to like being addicted to Coke or Pepsi or whatever. Um, I'm really feeling it. Like, I've, like before when I've given it up, I've had the shakes and everything, it's ridiculous. Anyhow, the reason behind my story is that I feel absolutely rubbish and I feel like I look shite as well so I'm gonna have to work that extra little bit harder to make this to get this makeup to make me look a little bit um, more presentable because I can feel the head thing start and I've gotten terrible like migrainey headaches before from giving up Pepsi Max so I know it's gonna happen again anyhow we're gonna start off with a nice affordable um, start as we mean to go on a nice affordable primer this is the L'Oreal primer, the Lumi Magique um, illuminating primer, I think that's what it's called. So this is a really fantastic radiance giving primer for anyone who wants something um, that gives lovely luminosity to the skin and doesn't want to spend a bomb on it. I will put this all over the face rather than just in the T-zone as if it was like oil control because I want like that little bit of luminance everywhere. And because I use this underneath the foundation, it's not like ridiculous. Then for my foundation, I'm gonna use one of my favorite, um, actually this is like my favorite of the, the super affordable brands. It is the Catrice Foundation, uh, Even Skin Tone Foundation. This is the lightest color 005. I know Catrice isn't available to everyone. Um, so what I would have used otherwise would be the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is another great affordable foundation. But I'm going to use the W7 sponge. This literally costs buttons or like three euros to be more exact. There is a Catrice sponge, but I don't like it as much. This is my favorite of the like super inexpensive sponges. And um, W7 is uh, available fairly worldwide. I mean, I know you can get it on Amazon and stuff. So I'm just gonna pick that up and plunk it all over my face. This foundation needs no um, like special method of application or anything like that. It just goes on lovely. It does look quite pale there, but it matches my neck, so that's what I always try to match to. This foundation has a bit of a, like, glue to it anyhow. It's not like a matte foundation, so um, I definitely feel like I need a bit more of a glow than usual because I just feel shine today, like I said, and it's definitely down to not having my, <laughs> my usual fix. Then for concealer, I'm gonna use my Holy Grail under eye concealer. This is Maybelline, and um, I would use this regardless of whether I was doing like a, any budget tutorial or this tutorial because it's just an amazing under eye concealer. And I actually bought the Charlotte Tilbury concealer recently. Um, people seem to be getting their knickers in a big twist over Charlotte Tilbury lately and um, I don't know, I'm just... Well I only got the concealer anyhow and I'm, I'm not a big fan. And because I have dry ass eyelids, I'm gonna use um, this concealer as my eyelid primer. And I think for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Maybelline 
the nudes um palette i think there's a roses one coming out soon and i really want to get my hands on it but um i definitely think palettes are probably the most cost effective way to go if you're on a budget so um there are some great shades in here so let's start with well a brush would help actually because i have no brushes in front of me i will start off with this shade here kind of pearly pearly white that's gonna go as my highlight and then this more kind of golden white which is the top row i'm gonna pop that on the inner corner as my inner corner highlight <laughs> Then for my main lid colour, I think I will use, let's see, I know Sarah's look is going to be quite dark and vampy, so I'm going to go with this light, kind of gold, yeah, I'm going to pop that all over the lid. I'm going to go into this matte shade then on the bottom row, and I'm going to apply that in the crease. Ooh, come out a bit deeper than I thought. But anyway, I'm gonna apply that in the crease, just blend it out really well. And I'm gonna pop that underneath my lower lash line as well. And I am sticking with this slightly larger um, blending brush. This is a Zoeva one, it's the 227 Soft Definer. Because I love that look of dark like fairly far underneath the lower lash line I think when you're going very neutral anyhow you can experiment a little bit more with color placement or product placement I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use an outside um, eyeshadow but it is an affordable eyeshadow it's one of the max factor pale pebble pots um no wild shadow pots and it's in the color pale pebble I love this. it's like my favorite highlight It's my favourite affordable highlight anyhow. I think the, the one from the palette was just ever so slightly too translucent. Okay, so um, I think that's blended out okay. Okay, let's move on to um, into the darker brown, sorry if I showed you that guy there which is above the black which doesn't even look black it looks more like a dark navy I'm gonna pop that there into the inner corner and yeah, that's a lot better as far as I know the rose palette of this isn't available in Ireland yet I think you have it over in the states if I'm right I'm not sure if anyone does have it do you think it's nice is it worth getting because I like I've only seen pictures of it um online obviously and it looks nice but I haven't seen it in real life. I think I'm gonna to have to go for big ass eyeliner today, by the way. But um, I'm going to use a small brush. This is another Zoeva. Zoeva are one of my like favorite, favorite, for affordable, well, actually they are my favorite affordable uh, brush brands. It is the 237 Detail Shader. It's a tiny little brush. And I'm gonna use that to apply that darker brown right up against the lash bed. Okay, so for eyeliner, let's see. So for eyeliner, I have been trying this guy out. It is the Essence Easy to Use eyeliner pen. There you go. Um, I don't know if you can see that there because the lights are doing things to it. But it is one of these pens that has like a calligraphy kind of nib rather than a felt tip nib because I don't like felt tip nibs. Um, and it's kind of like the Physician's Formula one the two-in-one lash boosting one um but yeah let's just pop this on anyhow i'm gonna go pretty thick yeah i wanted a pretty significant eyeliner so i'm kind of happy i still look like i don't know but anyhow can really see it around the eyes, I think. Um, that pen is pretty good. It's not as good as the Physician's Formula one, but for like the two or three quid that you, the three euros maybe that you spend on it, it's not bad. Now, next I want to um, tight line. Yeah, I'm going to um, add a little bit of, um, this definitely needs a top. 
I'm going to add some eyeliner to my waterline to take away the redness, the bleariness. And I'm going to tight line as well. I did do a video on that last week or the week before, so you can check that out if you're interested. This is the Catrice Better Than False Lashes Mascara, but because no mascara is actually better than false lashes, I'm going to use these guys by Essence. These are so cute. These are half lashes um, that were like two, three euro. So if these are nice, I'm going to be very excited. So yeah, these are just number three half lashes. I think Essence is pretty widely available, isn't it? Like you can get it in the States. Uh, you can get Catrice in the States, but you can get it in the UK now as well. Um, whereas it wasn't in, no, hold on. Yeah, it's in the UK now. I don't think it was in the UK before. So we'll pop on these. I like to do, well, sometimes I'll do mascara beforehand, but I tend to do mascara after the lashes. The only time I really do mascara beforehand is if I'm working on blonde lashes and I want to hide the color of the lashes first or if I'm gonna be applying a very, very heavy false lash and you need a little bit of structure underneath to support them before you actually apply them. Other than that, I'll always apply the lash first and then do the mascara afterwards. Oh, I like the look of these. They flare out really, really nice at the outer corner. I think I'm absolutely in love with these lashes, guys. They're just so, so nice, but like subtle as well. It's not ridiculous. And um, half lashes for me are so much more comfortable to wear than a full strip of lashes. So these are definitely a winner for me. Okay, for powder, I'm gonna use the NYX Stay Matte, but not flat powder foundation. Um, like, it kind of mattifies you, but like it gives you kind of a sheen, which is like totally contradictory, but by that I mean, but by that I mean, it will mattify like oil throughout the day. It'll help prevent oil coming through, making you look oily, but it has a bit of a natural radiance to the finish. It's not like, like it's like what it says on the tin. It's not a flat matte, it's more of a satin finish. Um, and I love the finish this foundation gives. Like I know it's a foundation, but you can definitely use it as a setting powder as long as you use a fluffy brush. Don't use anything too densely packed. I'm not going to think too hard about this, but I'm going to use my um, NYX Taupe Blush. I have been trying my hardest to get my hands on the new version of this because I want to do a comparison video, video for you. Um, but it's been sold out. Like There's five places in Galway where you can get NYX that I know of. And one is quite far away, so I don't really get out that far. But the four places that are close, like there's two places quite close to me, and then two places in town, and um, they've been sold out every time I've checked in the like since since the new stock has come out in Ireland, um, which is nearly a month ago. Taupe has been out of stock, which is just bonkers. But um, I will. I'll keep trying, and once I do get my hands on it, I will do a comparison video. I'm gonna use my beloved um, Moonlight Pearl highlight, which is from e.l.f., which are now finally available back to buy from the UK, um, cause um, e.l.f. or Eyes Lip Space, whatever you call it, .co.uk was down for a while. The like stock is stock, the, the distributor weren't distributing it anymore, but now it is being distributed through that website again, but it's actually been shipped from America, which is kind of crap, because you can still get caught from, from customs, for customs. Um, so, I don't know, I think it would still probably be cheaper in the long run than buying from America, but at the same time it's still a bit daft. Anyhow, love this, and um, let's see, I need to do my brows now, I'm just going to use a brow gel. This is the Bourjois Chatain Brow Gel, because I have a fuller brow to start with, um, this is usually more than enough. Sometimes if I've over plucked a bit, I need to um, fill in the ends, but I can usually get away with this. Yeah, I just think that's a really, really nice kind of, um, fairly natural, but still quite defined brow. I'm gonna stick with Essence for my blush as well. This is one of their Silky Touch blushes in Adorable. 
<laughs> and it is adorable, it's a lovely pink, number 10. And I'm just gonna use, um, this is a Real Techniques brush, by the way, it's a buffing brush. And I've been using this combo on my lips a lot lately and everyone, everyone, yeah, everyone, a load of people have been asking um, what it is. So um, there's like two very, very similar pencils I've been using, but the one I'm gonna use today is the Pennies one or Primark. And it is the PS Love This Lip Liner in the number six, and it's their nude one. And as usual, I'm always overlining my lips a little bit. I find a natural way of doing this is to use the brush to push the pencil um, beyond the lip line. So it gives a much softer finish, so it's not going to be as harsh. Um, and I would even have bigger lips, but I can't afford them. And then this guy here from Max Factor, which is, um, I'm always forgetting the name of the actual lipstick, but it's this like lipstick glass hybrid. It's this really hybrid, hydrating lipstick. And it's in the color um, 40 Exquisite Caramel. And um, yeah, this is what I've been wearing on my lips a lot lately and people seem to like it. I really like it as well. It smells like toffee or caramel as well. It's so, so nice. But I think mainly for me because um, my lips get so dry and it's so hydrating. It's so, so comfortable to wear. So that, guys, is the finished look. So here you go, this is the finished look. And if you wanna see Sarah's look, which is more kind of dark and sultry, you can click the link here or it will be linked to below. So I hope you like this, guys. Thanks a million for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and everyone is more than welcome. And I will just see you all in my next video, which will be next Tuesday. So till then, take care. It's long, guys.